my bangers and mash. You must have a pool of gravy. That's what it's all about. Bangers and mash, it's such a British classic, but it's loved all around the world and especially at Marley Spoon. It's been a long time favorite. What about a meaty dish complete with beefy onion gravy, but without the meat? I'm going to show you a vegetarian version. Starting off with some potatoes. I just want to cut them into three centimeter chunks because by the time the potatoes are done, dinner will be on the table. All of the ingredients of Marley Spoon are delivered fresh from the farm, so you just need to give your ingredients a good wash before you start cooking. Okay, just pop them into some cold water, a good amount of salt. So you don't want to cook them in boiling water because the outside will cook faster than the inside. Step two is to prepare some of the other ingredients, starting with an onion. I'm going to make a really nice beefy onion gravy. Thinly slice the onion. And all of the stock cubes that we use at Molly Spoon are actually vegan. Some beef stock cubes into a jug. Just crumble them in and add some boiling water. Okay, so I always like to add some green, especially in this dish. Mint goes really well with peas and parsley is a good midway point. Finally chopping the herbs, but mint tends to bruise very easily. So just being light-handed as the knife goes through the leaves. So you don't want them to turn black. Okay, so next up I'm going to cook off the sausages. Touch of oil in the pan. If you're a real meat eater and you haven't had a vegan sausage lately, they've definitely come a long way in the last few years. So I think you'd be pleasantly surprised by these. Okay, these are ready to come out now. So I'm just going to keep these in a warm oven while I cook the gravy. Potatoes are looking good, almost ready. So I'll throw in the peas. Just need about three minutes. Just let them pan steam for a moment to get rid of any of the excess water. Add some butter and a touch of milk. Grab the masher. Give it a good mash. You can also make this dish vegan by leaving out the butter and using oil instead, and then using a plant-based milk. I love a little pop of peas in this mash. Good season with salt. So I'm just going to keep this warm while we cook the gravy. So the rest of the butter into the pan, and then the onion. Just going to Get it going for a couple of minutes. Now I'm just going to add a touch of sugar, which will help the onions to caramelize. I'm not seasoning with salt here because the beef stock has enough in it already. All right, these are looking good. I'm just going to add a little bit of plain flour, just reduce the heat. I just want to cook it off for about a minute. This will help to thicken the gravy going to gradually add in the stock. Now for some Dijon mustard. You can use any mustard you have in the fridge. A hot English mustard would be nice in this. Just want to let that simmer away for about three minutes. And then I can get ready to serve up. Okay, so this is pretty much ready. Just going to stir through most of the herbs, saving some to garnish. And now for a couple of sausages. And to finish off, beefy onion gravy. You must have a pool of gravy. That's what it's all about. My bangers and mash with caramelized onion gravy.